Okay, video. <clears throat> Are we ready? Okay. All right. I'm sorry that we're getting it started a couple of minutes late, but our clock says we have three more minutes. So I will call the Sunset Empire Transportation District Board of Commissioners special meeting to order this Tuesday, October 31st at evidently it's 9.04 probably by now. And um, let me see, we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance first. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And Mary, would you do a roll call, please? Yeah. Commissioner Reed? Here. Commissioner Romero? Commissioner Donald? Yes. Commissioner Boo Smith? Yes. Commissioner Nino? Here. <laughs> Commissioner Allegria? Present. Commissioner Withers? Here. Okay. Um, are there any changes to the agenda? I don't see any changes. Seeing none. Oh. That's old. <laughs> okay. I had one. There's not much on it. Do you have another one? Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Most of you guys just could mm -hmm. memorize that. Okay. We'll go ahead and move to number five, public comment. Is there any public comment from those on Zoom? Me. No, there's not. Perhaps. Then I'm aware. Okay, go ahead. My name is Aza Cody, by the way. Thanks for this opportunity to advocate for my fellow passengers. Three minutes doesn't give me time to address the real damage, distress, and derailment of public lives this <laughs> district's financial meltdown caused. I will say the absence of any apology to your customers is stunning and remains one of the sticking points to rebuilding trust. Lack of proper public notice, contradictions between website, office, phone system, and posted schedules was inherent before the collapse and remains so to this day. Whereas I would like to gripe on about lost jobs and having actually to move to be within walking distance of food, there is a more pressing problem that needs immediate attention before it puts countless patrons into another travel bind. The new schedule truncates the existing commute into thirds. This doubles and trebles our costs. Also for myself, it means leaving either an hour and 40 minutes early or an hour and 20 minutes later than the present schedule. Patrons only got written notice of these changes this week. The new schedule goes into effect Wednesday and contains a glaring oversight which should be remedied by then. The 101 bus arrives back at the depot, is idle for 40 minutes, and then leaves the station at 941 heading south. The number 10 loop, which has been collecting folks from around town, some of whom ostensibly plan to carry on to Seaside, arrives 11 minutes later. What aspect of connector does this reflect? For me, it's either means a three mile walk to the depot from my new home or an hour and 20 minute wait on a cold bench. Surely this is a typo and will be corrected by November 1st. It's inefficient and it's insulting to the necessity of your patrons. I posit that none of the board commissioners and staff actually ride the bus. And as a result, you have no understanding of the massive adjustments required to accommodate your changes. Being customer centric, should be a no-brainer for a business mandated to move people. This district has a long way to go to rebuild public confidence. And I am not reassured when I receive this reply from your automated system. There is no prediction for this arrival. We are hopeful that Mr. Johnston can implement improved relations, transparency, and this necessary changes to your schedule quickly and strive to make the Northwest leg of a statewide system something to be proud of. Thanks again for this chance to input on behalf of other riders. Treat us better. We pay your fare. Thank you. 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 Anything further? 
here in the office. Okay. We will move on to the approval of Craig Johnson's agreement as the executive director. I move to approve the agreement with Craig Johnston for executive director. I'll second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Pamela? Um, I thought this agreement has been signed. No, this is, you're going to authorize me to sign it today. Okay, if, well, go, go ahead. If that's what the board wishes. Okay, the uh, one thing that I have uh, a comment on is the evaluation criteria and nowhere does it mention about the budget, which is uh, in terms of evaluation is very uh, crucial to the organization of the district, as well as um, the services that the previous citizen enumerated so that um, I would like to recommend strongly that Mr. Johnson do budget uh, training since he and the finance director, this will be their first time that they create the budget. The board reviews the budget, but does not create it. And I'd also would like to mention that <clears throat> Mr. Johnson did not include any writing in his application. And so we do not know the quality and effectiveness of his writing. And I would suggest if he feels the need to have some classes in writing, and I don't mean grammar and punctuation, which I'm known for, but for communication, well. Thank you. Thank you, Pam. And the board can instruct Craig to do whatever we want to once he gets started. If we want him to take budgeting classes we can instruct him to do that. If we feel that he needs writing classes, we can instruct him to do that, if that's, if that's well, what the board chooses to do. Yes, and also I just maybe recommend in future writing of evaluation criteria that the budget's included in this, which it is not. No. Thank you. Budget. Yeah, go ahead, yeah, call the vote, please. Okay. All right, I do a vote. Okay. Commissioner Reed? Aye. Commissioner McDonald? Aye. Commissioner Bushman? Aye. Commissioner Nino? Aye. Commissioner Withers? Aye. Commissioner Allegria? Aye. Motion passes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, Craig is here with us today. Welcome, Craig. Well, he was you, here man. yesterday also, and he came back today, so that's we're all excited about that. <laughs> um, do you want to say anything? I know you did the other day, but we'll give you another chance. I'm very excited to get started. Um, not as excited as Paul is about getting started. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> but uh, I've been picking Paul's brain uh, very much so, uh, transitioning, getting to know everything. Um, the staff here is exceptional uh, compared to where I, I'm coming from. You have a better core foundation here. So, so I think good things are coming. Uh, we got a lot to learn. We got a lot of work to do. We have some tight deadlines coming in the future, but I think we're going to get there. I, I'm optimistic for the future. So thank you. Thank you. Paul, this could be your last meeting. Oh. <laughs> Well, Just, you know, I, I'm never going to close the door to that. You might return to visit or something. So do you have any departing words? My last wish is that both of you sign that contract right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can talk a little further. <clears throat> <clears throat> <So, clears throat> I will do that. Um, I, I mean immediately. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do that. <laughs> Oh, look, the page is missing. <laughs> uh, I don't have a sticker. I make this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pull a copy. 
champion and treasure. All right, it's signed. All right. I will go ahead and adjourn the meeting. Um, there is a special cake over there on the table. Thank you all very much. And, um, oh, okay. all right. And I wanted, I did want to do one thing before okay. you all leave. I would like to get a picture, a commemorative picture of the board members that are present uh, behind Craig and Debbie uh, doing a symbolic signing of the contract for posterity. We yes. don't have, I'm sorry that we don't have everybody here today. Uh, and I, I apologize to you you lady members out there but this will be a start anyway and i would encourage you all to make some opportunities going forward to get pictures of the whole board together yes, uh, yes. for the record yes. I that's a really yes. thing. so that's all i have thank okay. you all very much meeting adjourned